Everything spiritually, you know? There are times like this, and it's okay to admit it. We have to um, come out of our pride and say, this is the reality, because the people in the Bible experienced it, so I experienced it. But remember Jesus Christ. Remember to pray. Remember to fight the spiritual battle. Remember to empower others. Remember, put it in your memory. If your memory chip gets full, the Lord told me this some weeks ago. Marcel, I said, Lord, I'm tired of prioritizing. When your memory is full, you know what you do? You prioritize. Okay? So if you have to remember 10 things, your mind says, wait a minute, what is more important? To remember to do your shopping or to pay your electricity bill? Okay, and then your mind goes, it's automatic. And then your mind goes, if I don't do my shopping, I can get by with a sandwich. But if I don't pay my electricity bill, they cut it. <laughs> and you prioritize, you say, okay, so the bill is better. So the bill is more important, so if I don't do anything today, I'll pay the bill. We are all the time doing that, all the time. What is the most important? And we, we choose the most important and it becomes automatic. And I said, Lord, I'm so tired of prioritizing. And the Lord said, but the number one, never put anything there in the number one, in your priority list. Nothing can take my number one. Because if something crawls up and takes my number one, then it's taken the main priority of my life. If the priority of my life is not the Lord, the desert will rise again. I've seen, have you seen people like that? They are blooming, they are growing, and the desert comes again. I have to admit, I have seen people like this. They were on fire. Some people who brought me to the Lord today are not in the Lord. I have had people in my high school, I told you I've had many people ministering to me in my life. That's why I believe in people. Because if they didn't take the time, some people took the time to invite me for a meal. Some people took the time to take me to a prayer meeting. Some people took the time to come and visit me when I'm sick. Some, some people, even when I blocked them out, took the time to send me by post a small card to trust in the Lord. This is back in my high school days. These are my messages, remember. Because the Lord, the older I get, is reminding me what happened. You know? So I thank the Lord for remembering me. But I urge you today to remember, to continue remembering the Lord, to continue remembering to pray, to continue remembering to be in His presence, because He has not finished with us. He has not. It looks like, it looks like. In some places you go to, you see a lot of fire. In some places you go to, you, you don't see it. But that's from the outside. My cry this morning is the cry of Habakkuk. Lord, renew. I have heard your mighty deeds. Renew them in our time. Let's open our eyes today and see the mighty deeds of the Lord. And talk about them with our children. Talk about them. Sometimes we don't even need to make an evangelistic outreach. Talk to people about them. Talk to somebody about them. You don't need even to target. The Lord himself will bring you people. If, our heart, if my heart is open, you know the outreach for me is a bad idea. Because if my heart is open and I say, Lord, send me someone, boom. People, people, is so many millions of people. People is no problem for the Lord. Last week, my, my, one of my lecturers called me. I was finished with this because I know it's 12.30 and we want to go home early. <laughs> and he said, Martin, I, we had a subject this year called statistics and you know, I really enjoy scientific subjects. And uh, my mind is very logic. So <laughs> we had a subject called statistics and it was very mathematical. And I said, oh my, my goodness, I'm now very old and I can't go back to studying math. And, and I did really well. I was so pleased, you know. And he called me, this was last semester, and he called me and he said, listen, there's a, a mature student, she failed twice her statistics. 
And if she fails this one, she's out. And she's a part-timer. She's been studying four years. And he said, Marcel, you, you really have to help this woman. So I said to myself, can I take this? Again, prioritizing. Can I invest time teaching this woman? Maybe, she, maybe she's really bad in math. And then I have to spend one hour showing her how to do one simple division. Can I do it? Uh, the kids are starting school. And I prayed about it and I felt no. I felt that the Lord wanted me to do it. So I packed my weapons, my calculator and my book and, my, and I went to this woman's house. And the woman was just broken. She said, you know, I've been going through a separation, I have a teenage son, and if I fail, I'm out of this course. And, and the Lord said to me, bring hope. Bring hope. See, the desert is everywhere. The thing is, what do you do when you see it? Now I know what to do because the Lord reached me in the desert. So we had a lot of statistics. But I shared with her, I said, look, I'm not different from you. Maybe you go through a separation and I have a family. Yes, and I have my husband. But in the end, we are all the same without the Lord. We are all a desert without the Lord. There is no success worth it more than the success of knowing the Lord. You know? So I encourage you, wherever you go, I know that you are very active in this. But remember the Lord, when the days come that are hard for you, when that storm comes that you see, I can't climb it, I can't do it, and it will come. And it will come because the Lord in His mercies he remembers us and He wants to show us His power. That's why it comes. It's not because it comes because the Lord has forgotten us. That is a lie from the devil. It comes because the Lord wants to show His power. So when it comes, remember. The Bible says, in Timothy, Paul says, Remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead. Not on the cross like we do in the Good Friday here. We cry, people cry behind the cross and shed tears and blood and walk on their knees and... No, remember him, raised! Who? Remember the, the power and the victory. That's how you empower the desert. Amen? Amen. So let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, this morning. We thank you for the blessing of coming together, Lord, knowing that you are here, you are present. You have not forgotten us. Not only have you remembered us, Lord, but you have empowered us to go beyond our boundaries, to go beyond what we can see. You have a plan for each and every one of us here, Lord. Touch our hearts, touch our minds, renew your deeds in this day, Lord, that we can draw close to you, that we can keep the fire burning. Thank you, Father. Bless this week. Bless our time. Bless our day. Bless our project. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hello. Hi. Have your heart, your ears, your eyes been opened? Yes. So you got the message. Now... What he meant was one thing more is to apply what you have got in your life. Without application, we will be just like people who sit in the club and go home. But we are here for a purpose. We want to serve God and our God is willing to work with us. So don't miss it. Bless you, Marcel. And uh, now... Uh, Brother Darren, do we have an announcement today? Birthdays. Birthdays. Birthday. There's there was someone else's birthday. Who's who's was it? And it was Tuesday? Yes. And twice. And my son, yes, it's on the eighth because my mother's is on the seventh, and then my mother's in law, mother in law's is on the ninth. So I, I remember that. I have to. I have to. It's. Awesome. So uh, 
Uh, we sing them happy birthday.